Hey, parents, I have some great news. Uh, Gateway Student Ministry is in transition right now, and so we've got some exciting things that are going on, and we have some internal phases from Gateway Student Ministry that I want to present to you as you're watching this video because they're very important on where we're going and what we're going to be doing. So I don't want to take up too much of your time while you're watching this, but Gateway Student Ministry has finished and completed phase one, which was back in March, we started shooting videos for YouTube and we will continue to post those videos for those of you that are planning to keep your students at home. Now, for you parents that are choosing to keep your parents at home, I just want to let you know, we are going to back you up on whatever decision you make for your family. If your student ever reaches out to a small group leader or reaches out even to me or Casey, what we're going to tell them is, hey, you have to honor your parents. And so your parents are choosing to keep you home. We're going to totally respect that. So we will continue to be posting videos as part of our phase one on YouTube on Sunday morning. So that way you guys can catch up on what's going on there. The second part, phase two, is actually coming up this Sunday, September 27th, for high school. A little bit has changed. We are meeting on Sunday nights starting September 27th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the Life Center. Why the Life Center? Because we need more space for social distancing. We need space for small groups, and we're also going to incorporate worship. So this Sunday, we will have worship we will have teaching and we will have small groups and have enough space in, space in the Life Center to spread everybody out. So that is the plan for that. And then Sunday nights, in case we outgrow the Life Center, we have areas that we can move into. Now, phase three is gonna be for you middle school parents. We're gonna add middle school to, to our high school group uh, starting October 4th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the Life Center. And what we'll do starting October 4th is we will have worship together in the Life Center. Everybody will be social distanced and spaced out. Masks are mandatory for everybody that enters the building and we will scan and check everybody. After that, after worship, middle school will go for teaching in the warehouse and we'll have small groups in the warehouse. So high school will stay in the Life Center. Middle school will be in the warehouse on Sunday nights. Make sure to make that very clear. All right, phase four is our last piece of finally getting back to normal, meeting on Sunday mornings. And so the plan for that is we will open up fifth through 12th grade on Sunday mornings. Fifth and sixth grade will no longer meet in the path because we don't have enough space for those kids. So they will move to the, where, uh, to the warehouse on Sunday mornings. The students from 7th through 12th grade that are meeting on Sunday mornings will meet in the Life Center. We do not have an official date for Phase 4, so just want to make that clear. We do not have an official date on when we will meet with all of student ministry on a Sunday morning. But what we do know is when we do open up, we will meet, we're changing our meeting time to 9.30, so we will meet during the 9.30 service, not the 11 o'clock, because that is when the Life Center and the warehouse are both available at the same time. So let me repeat, when we finally open up, when we get that official date to meet on Sunday mornings, we will meet at 9.30 during the first service. I know for some of you, you're like, I usually get to sleep in on Sunday. It's a bit of a change. It's for the time being while we're going through this COVID process and it's going to give us enough space to social distance all of our students. Now, just a reminder, every environment that we have in student ministry will require students getting checked, it will require students wearing masks, and we are going to tell them to social distance, and we are going to make sure they social distance and that while they're having conversations with each other and in small groups. We already know what our spacing is going to look like. We already have an idea of where everybody's going to be at. We've had plenty of time to plan for this and prepare for this. So we kind of already had a plan already in May, and so we've had to make small changes as we've, begin, as we've kind of made this process. But for many of you, you've already sent your kids back to brick and mortar. And what we've done is we've looked at what is going to be the best for our students. And right now, moving away from Zoom is going to be where we're at. Meeting in person is where we need to be. And so as a student pastor, 
and praying with our staff and meeting with our staff and getting the green light from Randy and from our reentry team, we are officially going to meet this Sunday. So if you have any questions, email me. Casey's going to put my email address below. Please feel free to email me and I will reach out and give you a phone call and not respond back with an email because it's a really weird kind of wonky time in our in our history and in our lives but I think for students to be able to gather back together in community in a safe space where they could be socially distanced and they have to wear a mask and they get everybody checked I think is really important so I'm excited that we can finally meet on a Sunday morning I'm looking forward to teaching on Sunday nights and then at some point when we finally get to Sunday mornings and to be very clear Sunday night teaching as we move forward will not be the same as Sunday mornings. We will dig in a little bit deeper, for, but for right now, as we open up, we will do the same lesson plan as what is on YouTube, but we will be doing that in person, but I will actually be teaching it live. So, super excited about that. Love y'all. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day.